Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com, and in this video, I want to do something pretty cool here, or well, at least to me it's cool. Um, I want to go over the colors, the body colors for our beloved Volkswagen Beetle, only in the 1950s and only specifically the metallic colors. reason I want to do this is because, you know, I can go to a car show with my 50s Beetles and they're painted in a metallic color. And the average Joe who goes to a car show to look at a Beetle, they do not believe that that is an original color. So uh, they had some spectacular metallic colors in the 1950s. And then they did that whole break all the way through the 60s, even into the early 70s. It was about mid-70s when they went back to some metallic colors. But really, uh, the 50s colors were just striking. So uh, we're going to get into it right now, where you can get the information on your metallic colors, what was original to your year, and then how to go how to go about really uh you know painting it on your beetle. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so I want to point out here Wolfsburg West. So if you go to wolfsburgwest.com, go to scroll down and then you'll see color charts. And then scroll down again. And you see onto the charts. And there are, are the years for the Beatles uh, that have uh, all the different color combinations. And they also, when you click on a year of Beetle, say, for instance, 1956, say, um, you know, Jungle Green or Horizon Blue, something like that. You click on those. They'll show you the swatch, which is really nice. Now, these aren't uh, incredibly accurate. Uh, so don't really go by this. It could be your monitor. Um, again, how that color was scanned. So you've got to be a little cautious uh, of how accurate that color is. But at least down below, they'll also show you, you know, what color the headliner was. Maybe they have information on the leatherette material, what color that was. Sometimes they just don't have that cloth material. They'll show that, which is your, usually European options. So even Wolfsburg West, and then you have the Samba.com. Now, I'm in the Samba. If you go there, T-H-E-S-A-M-B-A. -A. a lot of times I tell people the Samba, and they just think it's Samba. Nope, it's not just Samba. It's the Samba. If you go over to technical and then scroll down to paint and upholstery and click that, off the top, the default is on type two on the bus, the transporter, okay? Um, the hippie bus, right? All that stuff <laughs> because it's the Samba and the Samba bus is, that's the name for it. So you want to click type one. And then that brings you to the Beetle uh, breakdown. So I use the Samba. I use Wolfsburg West. And then I even use, I have these two books. The Car of the Century by J.T. Garwood. I scored these many years ago on eBay for a, for a song. I mean, I, I really scored on them. And they're really thick uh, books that have the breakdown all the different changes for each year, the color combinations, interior combinations, you know, exterior features, all that broken down year by year. And these in these thick, thick books, I call them the Bibles, to be honest with you, because it's a wealth of information. And they have, you know, drawings in there, different changes of what happened for each year. Now, I will tell you between this book, between the Samba and between Wolfsburg West, there's many scenarios where they just don't line up so Wolfsburg West might show a color that the Samba does not or this book does not so I wouldn't say take it with a grain of salt the information is very uh useful and it's it's pretty darn accurate but you will find a couple things that are just you know a little off so I usually go to Wolfsburg West just because it's a little bit easier to click on the year now, metallic colors started in 53. So you're talking the 53 oval window. It was still the split window Zwitter that started in October of 52 and went to March 9th of 53. So in 53, if you click on that, for sedan, they had metallic blue. Now, I've seen, let's see, metallic blue. They also had metallic beige for convertibles down here. Okay, it's very rare. I have a tough time to, to find metallic beige. I think I have seen that once 
on a pre-67 YouTube channel video on one of the shows that was happening out in Europe. And for a, you know, a couple seconds, I saw this metallic beige convertible. Uh, but other than that, it's very hard to find that color. Um, and at least with Wolfsburg West, they also give you the date of when certain things started and when they ended. So metallic blue, I love that color. Let's go click on that. I mean, look at the swatch. It's really dark. I mean, on some monitors, it might almost be black. Um, if you go to the Samba.com and go to uh, scroll down to where 53 was, you'll see metallic blue right here. They also have a swatch. Now, what's interesting about uh, on the Samba is at least they have, if you see a little picture icon, a little camera icon there, if you click on that, um, and click, that usually brings up an example of the car, of the color. So pretty cool to have. Now, these pictures are not all up to date. There's a Strato. Now, that kind of looks Strato, but to me, it looks more like Atlas Blue. Um, if I click on another one, tough to tell the angle. That looks a little more accurate to me. And then you have this one. Ragtop, that looks pretty accurate as well. So it's really tough to say. I mean, some of these pictures are old. I mean, this this now this doesn't even come close to Strato Silver. This again looks more like Atlas Blue. So uh, you know you gotta. These websites are kind of old, <laughs> and you know they're not updated the most. So just keep that in mind when when you're looking at this. But so metallic blue, an amazing color. Uh, you guys know I did a, a video. A couple of weeks ago, in regards to that 53 metallic blue that crossed the Barrett Jackson auction. And that was a, a very striking color. So if we go to 53, that's 53 metallic blue. Beautiful color. Love that bad boy. Um, again, a very short color. So because 53 oval was very was had a short lifespan, you know, it was basically from March to the end of uh December. So great color. Um you know, how do you get this color? So some people will ask me, how do you get this color? I will leave a link to a video I did several years ago in regards to using newer paint codes to paint your beetle. You can go on Google and put in this color is L35. So if you did a Google search for L35 metallic blue VW beetle, and then I usually put in PPG at the end. PPG is a brand of paint. And then there's usually websites that do pop up that will give you a new paint code. Sometimes they're hit or miss. I would bring those to my paint shop sometimes and they would not even come up in the system. The Samba here, if you scroll all the way down, now not every color is here. We'll scroll all the way down and they have the chips here. So what you can see here is some of the colors so here, Strato Silver. L227, super popular color, 54, 55, and early 56 with Strato Silver. It's like that slate blue, gray uh, color. I've, I've painted three beetles in my time with that color. Here is the PPG code here on this side, and here's the code. Now, I've brought this code to my painters with that and really didn't come up in the system. So we had to do a little more digging. But for the most part, they will work, or if you do a Google search. Again, this website's very old, the Samba. It's probably 20 plus years old, and it's not not everything is updated. So metallic blue, beautiful color. I love that color. That is just a striking color that was offered for Beetle. Now, what's really funny is now people will argue with this. There's 53 split window. The Zwitter, again, was still in early 53 up until March of 53. From my understanding, a 53, a split window would not have a metallic color. Guys, want to correct me if I'm wrong? You want to chime in? Please leave it in the comment section below. 53 Zwitter should not have metallics. It's when it hit oval and March 10th of 53 is when they had the metallics. But here was a 53 Zwitter that crossed the RM Sotheby's auction block a few years ago. Uh, that did actually very well. Uh, they basically painted it a paint scheme similar to a 53 oval and had a rag top and everything. So um, 
not sure how just how accurate that is. So just something to keep in mind. Straddle silver will be our next color. That is a very striking color, guys. I love that color. That is that that blue gray slate material. I I painted. This is one of my beetles that I have painted in the strato silver. And you'll see here. Very, very accurate. That color that I painted it. And wouldn't you know, I used a Nissan color called Tidewater Pearl to paint that car. Now, there's no, I know it says pearl, but it is a metallic. It, it did not show pearl. A lot of times when you say pearl, there's a lot of different colors within the paint when you look at it and you'll see reds and greens and you know blues and all different types of colors but metallic should just more be that metallic-y silverish looking stuff that's in the paint this color had that so um just an awesome car again one of the cars i wish i had back um but that that was a beauty that car uh award-winning car too so shadow silver just a, a striking color now 54, 55, early 56 was Strato Silver. So uh, basically to March of 56 is what the Samba is showing. So uh, there was the body change slightly in 56. Tail lights got bigger. Rib doors were gone. Batwing steering wheel went away. So it only lasted a, a, a little while into 56. And if we go back into Wolfsburg West... Let's go to then 54. So Strato Silver was one of the metallic colors offered along with Ultra Maroon. I'm going to show you. That is a rare color. Not many colors. See, so it, it says Ultra Maroon. You would think maroon, ah, red wine looking color, you know, maybe towards the burgundy side, that kind of thing. But no, it's actually more of like a... I don't know, maybe a metallic, uh, sandy, copperish, maybe a little champagne-ish in there or something. Um, but that's a rare color. You don't see that very often. Um, in the in the convertible arena, they had also iris blue. So I'll show you that. That's a very light, again, slate-ish looking blue, but lighter. Um, and and actually, this swatch I don't think is very accurate. With that, you also had metallic beige again. You also had dolomite. And one of my favorites is what my 54 convertible is sprayed silver granite, L322. People do not think that's an original color when I go to car shows with my convertible. They think that's a modern color, a Porsche color, gunmetal, metallic gray. What are you painting this car? It can't be real. And uh, sure enough, and you click on the swatch, yeah, it almost looks freaking black. That's the iris blue, which is very nice. We had a car that color, but as a sedan, uh, it's only on convertible, really. And then here was the ultra maroon, <laughs> right? It's got more of a, a beige uh, sandy color, almost could be metallic beige in a way. Very cool car. That was a, a a fellow I knew in New Jersey, Humberto Lapa. If anybody knows who he is, he's done amazing restorations in the past for Volkswagens. Yeah, that was the color. Very goldish, beigeish, metallic color. Unique. Now I'll, I'll tell you, the color combinations weren't always. <laughs> I don't know who we'll picked some of the color combinations for Volkswagen back in the day, uh, but. A, you know, for the American bound market, they would have had a red leatherette interior for the ultra maroon, which to me is god awful. Uh, that color combination is god awful. But Humberto went with a beautiful European style for what would have been offered then, and uh, that fits very, very well. So, very cool. Ultra maroon, one of the great colors. Very rare. You don't see it very often. So if you do see it, um, it's not everyone's taste, but it's a beautiful piece. Um, and the Strato Silver, same thing with Strato. They would have had a dark, or they would have had a red interior, a very poppy red interior uh, in the Strato 
silver, which is very reminiscent. A lot of Porsches had those color combinations. Um, in America, they would have had that option for the red. I actually went with a little bit darker red, more of a burgundy red. Really didn't deviate uh, too much from originality. So that's kind of the color combo that would have happened. In Europe, they probably would have had more of a gray cloth. So now what's interesting on the Samba is that let's go back to the swatches here. Where you'll see they have uh, scans of the upholstery paint and upholstery books that were legitimate VW uh, books. So say, for instance, let's click on 1952 to 55. And see here, let's scroll down. Here are some of the colors. And if you click on these, so they have the color swatch here. So that's pretty close. I mean, they're trying to get as close as possible, but so say metallic blue. Here's the blue swatch. Pretty cool. And then you can click on to the right here and they'll have the upholstery material, which, which was offered. Now, I think these this material here is only Euro because if I click on Ultra Maroon, which is down here, they don't mention anything of the red interior. Neither with Strato Silver. Very bluish. I know it says silver, but it's got a very blue blue hue to it. So they don't mention anything either here also on the also the blue dark the, the blue vinyl they would have offered in America as well and the red. And I've had original Stratos come to my shop with the original seat upholstery, especially that fit that 54 that I restored that I showed you that had the original red seats in it. So I, I, I definitely know that they had the red seats. So, but just some good information here on the Samba. And you can click on these links up here and that'll take you to a paint and upholstery book if you want to get even more detailed information. So, now I had another picture of, it was Dolomite. This was Dolomite. Again, kind of another facsimile thereof of, you know, uh, maybe the ultra maroon or something or the polar silver, which they also offered. And there was another color also um, Shetland gray. This someone's also mentioning here. I think it's Shetland gray, maybe this guy. Um, but yeah, so uh, again, another metallic uh, series of colors. This is polar silver. We had a beetle. Let me see when polar silver came in. I think that came in. Polar silver, okay, 55, L324. See, that's very close. We came across this car in Connecticut. Nice color. Yep. Beauty. And again, it's shocking to some people that these were even offered on the Beetle. Now, what's nice about some of these cars, if you think about it, you know, many cars today have similar colors. If you really start to take a look, if you take a drive on the road, Look at many of the cars today on the road, and you'll see they got a lot of these colors. So you could technically use a new color today. Now, why do I, again, why do I use a new color today? Well, because they have those codes. The codes are fairly new. They're in the system, right? So God forbid anything did happen to your Beetle, and they maybe got a fender bender or something or a rock chip or something. You wanted to paint the fender. At least then you have the code. They can punch it up, and it's a little more accurate so then for them to repaint and fix if you have to go through a mixture, now we got an issue we got to deal with. Um, so that's why I say try to find a new color today. If it's close, go with it. You know, this was Atlas Blue. This came 58, 59 convertibles. I'll show you that in a second. That's another beautiful color. Glacier Blue. Now we're into 58. And there's your Glacier Blue. And I've done Glacier Blue a couple times as well. This was a car that I did for a fellow named Landon out of Texas, a build. And this was the color that came on the car. They bought the car brand new in 58, his grandfather did, which was a great story. And that's a great color. Now, if you scroll down the interiors, again, for the U.S. market, would have something like this. So you have... A bluish uh, color on the sides and the back, off-white piping with the off-white vinyl on the face of the seat. And the door panels, of course, would have been the two-tone, the blue, 
along with the uh, diamond cord pattern on the door panel. So glacier blue, another beautiful, beautiful, what am I saying? Beautiful color. <laughs> um, and uh, something that you can that you can definitely get that with the PPG mixture that they have on the Samba. So glacier blue, Capri was a flat color. Diamond gray was another beautiful color. That's metallic as well. That is a really, really nice. I, I did a diamond gray for a build again for a fellow named Bruce. It was a rag top. It almost has a little tinge of green in it. But again, striking color. I think it was only offered for $58.59. Diamond green, which is another one. We can get to that one. Iris blue, Shetland gray, sepia silver. I don't think I've seen that one either, guys. So, and 57, pearl blue. I don't know if pearl blue is metallic or not. Someone wants to chime in on that. Iris blue again in 57 for the convertibles. That must have been a very popular color. So 58, we were looking at diamond gray. So here you go. There's the diamond gray right there. So a lot of the colors are kind of similar to some other grays and greens and that kind of thing. Light bronze. Oof. That's another color. I believe that is metallic as well. So if anybody wants to chime in or show a picture of that. And then there was the Atlas blue here. Beautiful co convertible color. This car, actually a client of mine, which uh, just recently passed away last year, a great friend of mine um, bought this car, and then we did an upgrade on his engine. This was a beautiful restoration. Atlas Blue is a striking color. I really like that color a lot. And that would have had the same interior as, say, the, the Glacier Blue that I showed you with the blue. Look, I got my tarboys on the back. How about that? So... But, um, yeah, that would have been originally, this is a 40 horse. It would originally would have been a uh, 36 horse still in that in that car. But, yeah, so that's the interior, similar to the, what would have been in the Glacier Blue. So that's a great color as well. There you have it, guys. Uh, there's, there's just a bunch of metallics that were offered for these cars. Um, like I said, WolfsburgWest.com the Samba, or if you do have the luxury of getting those books that I showed you about, they'll have the colors in there, but they don't show any swatches or anything like that. I would basically stay base 53 all the way to 59. And then I think it was around 75 or something when they were getting back into other metallics. But these are the colors uh, that you can look at. And again, just really, really striking. I mean, most people just, they, again, they don't believe that they're, that they're Volkswagen colors, but I love proving them wrong. And why the hell not? <laughs> Guys, just want to show you some examples of the metallic colors that were offered in the 50s. I hope you liked that video. I don't want to go too long-winded here. But if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. If I'm incorrect on anything, if you want to point anything out historical, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. I would really, really appreciate that. And uh, everybody else in the community would, would appreciate that. So um, that's it. See you all again. Bye. Bye. Um...